Live from Indianapolis, presented in high definition, this is Fox 59 Morning News. All right, all this week we are looking for ways to help lower your bills, from cell phones to groceries to your home mortgage. And there have been a lot of changes when it comes to cell phones. New models hitting the market, new plans. Not easy figuring out which ones are right for you and your family. So we're trying to break down the options that won't leave you feeling disconnected. Get the lowest price ever at Radio Shack. On Buying a cell phone used to be a lot easier because the choices were fewer. Fast forward 20 years. Aw, oh, thanks girls. For the socializer. So we put the phone in. And you can see how technology has made the luxury of choice, well, confusing. I mean, just between iPhone and Android is a big choice, and then once you made that choice, there's other choices beyond that, so. That changing technology gave Patrick Welch an idea for a startup company he founded called Newbie. The uh, first one was easy, uh, and it became more problematic as the technology improved. Since there are so many devices, we'll start there. For Patrick, it boils down to two primary phones. The iPhone versus probably a Samsung Galaxy. Right now it's a Galaxy S3. They just announced the Galaxy S4. But Samsung and Apple are the two ones that are really fighting it out the most. Um, it wasn't really a decision. Apple all the way. iPhones are available through AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and as of last month, T-Mobile. Android's a little more flexible. I think Android can do a lot more. But for some people, that doing a lot more is what actually is a detriment to them and their phones. That's Patrick's take on the new HTC First, an Android smartphone with so much Facebook integration, it's known as the Facebook phone. Its main feature is a constantly changing display of photos and updates from social media friends. I think it's gorgeous, but useless. Uh, it gets in the way, uh, it actually takes over. Patrick installed it as an app over his Galaxy S3 and was annoyed it came up over the lock screen. It hampered phone use. I need you to put that away now. Okay. But if you're a Facebook addict, you may love it. The brand new HTC One is a good looking handset made from a single piece of metal and with dual speakers. Most people that have uh, experienced the phone will say it's, it's the clearest sound they've ever heard uh, coming out of a device. We could keep talking phones and features, but we need to talk about plans. That's where it really gets complicated. Finally. One of the big wireless carriers is going to stop restricting people. This spring, T-Mobile introduced a new model, service without the contract, called the Simple Choice Plan. I think the no contract thing is going to be uh, something that's going to happen more and more with these carriers. Comparing plans is no easy task. T-Mobile has unlimited voice and texting for $50 a month. That's for 500 megabytes of data. Verizon's cheapest plan is unlimited voice and data for $90 a month, but that comes with twice as much data at one gigabyte. That same plan at AT&T is $85 a month. And Sprint's first tier is $109.99 a month, but that's for unlimited voice, texting, and data. That's the cheapest for that much data. But T-Mobile still has the lowest plan cost, but also the slowest speed of all the other carriers. A lot of people are going to look at the money and see that you know the lowest price is maybe the one they're going to gravitate towards. But you have to consider a lot of other things. You want to consider your coverage. You know, is are you getting? Are you dropping calls? You know, you got to consider a lot of that, and not necessarily the best deal. Some more carriers are moving to family plans, where you add a line for a small fee. If you do choose a plan without the contract, because that's the new thing, keep in mind that the phone you're getting comes heavily discounted. If you cancel your service, you are on the hook for the rest of the phone's costs. But on the flip side, with T-Mobile's plan, if you've paid off your phone within 24 months, your bill goes down by 20 bucks. With the other carrier's contract, it doesn't go down once that subsidized phone is paid off.